Hi guys, good evening. Hi teacher, good evening. How are you? Hi, fine, I think. What's your weekend? Tell me about your weekend. Bored without anything to do. <laughs> really? So many things, so many projects you can do in your house. Yeah, but only house works. <laughs> Nothing fun. Nothing, Nothing fun, fun to do. Uh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> you guys need to start, you guys need to um, get Pinterest as your app too. No TikToks, Pinterest. There's a lot of projects and super cool things to do there. <laughs> okay, so last week we were doing some fun activities. This week we will continue doing them. We were, our last topic was countable and uncountable, right? Do you remember? Countable and uncountable. Okay, so we were going over that. Remember to open your platform. We're gonna be working on some exercises, but before that, we had a little quiz, right? Remember about countable and uncountable, like a little exercise and we did okay. Now, in this second opportunity, we're supposed to do even better than last week. So let's go ahead. First, we're going to watch a little explanation on too much, too many about quantifiers regarding countable and uncountable nouns. And then we're going to move forward to this other exercise to see how you guys are doing, okay? So we're going to be watching the video on 2.4. And after that, we're going to do a little YouTube quiz to see how it goes after too much and too many, a little and a few. Okay, so let's pay attention to this video. Tell me if you're able to listen to it, please. I'm going to take away my video and my sound so you have better vision so the video doesn't freeze. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll can you listen to the video? Yes, I can. Yes. Ah, okay, super. Yes, I can, teacher. Yes, I can. Best problems that exist in a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's going to help us to understand when we're going to use too many. For example, in this case, we have cars. Uh, we are going to use too many. And when we're going to use too much. For example, in this case, we have a non-count noun, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here. There are too many cars. And I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement. There aren't enough buses. Let me present the structure now. In order for us to make sense of there are too many cars, we need to understand the following rule. Uh, and that is that we're going to have there. And by the way, this can be the subject of the sentence. It doesn't necessarily need to be there. Like, for example, we can say we have too many cars. And let me go ahead. As I am talking about that, I'm going to go ahead and write the examples now. So let me write the example that is there. There are... Whenever you see the expression too many, that means that there is a problem, that we have too much of too many. In this case, there are too many cars. And that's how we make that expression. There are too many cars. We can also say we have too many cars. 
what I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there. There aren't enough buses. And this is whenever we are missing something, right? We need more of something like, for example, we need more buses. Maybe we need more police officers. We're going to use the expression, there aren't enough. And then that's going to follow a count now. So we use there plus aren't. And then this is going to follow the expression enough. And what else can we say? Well, we can say there aren't enough police officers. What's another problem in your city? Well, maybe there aren't enough parks. What I would like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city. And so I want to make sense of the example, there should be fewer cars. That's an opinion about what I think we need in my city. So in order for us to form that idea, we need a subject. Then we need should. After that, we're going to need the verb to be. And this is followed by either fewer or more. And then it's going to be followed by a count now. So let me give you an example of that right now. For example, we could say there should be fewer cars, which is the example that we have here. We have a subject. This could be in the form of there, as it can be in the form of another pronoun or another kind of subject. Uh, then it's going to follow the model verb should, and then this is, will be followed by a verb. It can be the verb to be, but it can be other verbs as well. And then the um, adverb quantities, such as fewer or more, and then whatever count now that exists. There should be fewer cars. We should have more police officers. And these are opinions that we want to express about what is needed in a city. And the other example that I haven't talked about, we need more subway lanes. That is kind of like a stronger opinion, so it's no longer a suggestion, if you will. Um, but it's, it's something similar. And so um, it's quite similar. We're going to say we. The only difference is that we don't include a model bird, right? We need more and in this case, subway lines. What I would like to do next is explain how to describe problems that take place in a city. But now I'm going to do it with non-count nouns. And so what I would like for you to notice is the difference, right? We, we discuss how to express problems with count nouns. For example, we said there are too many cars. And what I want you to notice is that with non-count nouns, we're going to use different words. So for example, instead of too many, we will use too much. Instead of fewer, we will use less. Um, we can use more for count nouns as well as for non-count nouns. So as you can see the example there, we need more subway lanes. That's accountable. We need more public transportation. That's a non-countable. Um, and enough is the same way. There aren't enough buses. There isn't enough parking. Um, the only thing that will change in this last example is that we're always going to treat no countable nouns as singular, even though we might be talking about uh, more things. So let me try to present some structure there so that we can try to make sense of the examples here. So for example, we can say there is too much traffic and what I would like to do is make sure that I'm using the appropriate colors that I chose and there's our example we have a subject that is followed by the verb and then this is followed by either too much or enough and then we have a non count now so the example there is too much traffic let me give another quick example there is too much, I'm going to say pollution. Um, and what I would like to do is give an example there. There isn't enough parking. 
And the last thing related to this topic is how to express opinions that you have about what should be included in a city. And the only difference now is that we're going to include some sort of model verb. Okay? So we have our subject is there, then we include should be, uh, and in this case we're going to use less and we're going to say pollution. Um, I'm going to change these words now and instead of too much or not enough or enough, I will use there should be less or more. Okay, because what we want to do now is we want to express an opinion. So we're going to have a subject. Uh, the subject is there. It's going to be followed by the model verb should, and then this is going to be followed by some kind of verb. It doesn't have to be the verb to be. It can be something else. And then either less or more, and whatever non count that exists. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice the concepts that we learned. I want you to practice giving expressions about what problems are in your city. And I want you to use a combination of both count nouns and non-count nouns. And remember that if you are going to use count nouns, you're going to use expressions such as too many, fewer, or more. And if you're going to use non-count nouns, then you're going to use expressions such as too much, less, or more. I'm going to stop there. And I want you to come up with your own examples. Mm -hmm. Too many, too much, fewer, less, more, enough, or not enough. Give me examples of situational events in our country, for example. There are too many cars, we know that. Let's change that for something else. There are, many, there are too many dogs in the city. Okay. Um, okay, let me just go here and... I'm going to open it. Okay. There are too many dogs, dogs in the city. In the city. Okay. Very good. What else? Mm -hmm. there, there are, are too, too many, many problems with, when it's raining. <laughs> okay. There are too many problems when it is raining okay mm -hmm. there are too many now what about much with this one related to dogs okay so the problem is there are too many dogs let's make it uncountable there is too much noise in the city yeah for example okay there are too many problems when it's raining. There is too much rain. There is, day. Much, there is too much rain. Uh -huh. There is too much rain. Um, okay, every day. In the night. In the night. Oh. At night. Uh -huh. Very good. At night. Excellent. There's too much rain at night. Okay. Very good. Because we cannot count the rain itself, but we can count if we were to have it in, um, in containers. So like I was telling you last week, um, let me see if I can show you this. I think it was this one. Are you able to see my screen? Are you able to yeah. see my PowerPoint presentation? No. No, right? Let me share it again. Okay, can you see my PowerPoint? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, okay, so we have yeah, countables and uncountables. But for uncountables, we cannot count milk or flour or salt or sugar, but we can count the containers of it. Okay, we can count the amount of sugar, the amount of rain that falls in our country. But the rain itself, we cannot count it because it's a liquid like water or like milk. But for example, for milk, we can count a bottle of milk or bottles of milk, like cartons of milk, okay? Jugs of water, glasses of water, liters of water, gallons of water, but we cannot count the liquid itself. So that's why, the, that's why we use, in this case, 
too much rain at night, okay? Any other one? So we had too much, too many. What about few and less? Give me an example. <clears throat> There are fewer, or there should be fewer. Mm -hmm. There should be fewer, menos que, fewer what? In their country. There should be fewer accident, accidents. Three? In okay, very good. There should be fewer accidents in the city. Uh huh. Excellent. Okay. There should be less. What can we use? So we use fewer accidents. There should be less. Distractors. Mm, yes. and uh, Excellent. Distractors. Distractor. Uh -huh. Distractors. Okay, distractors. Mm -hmm. There should be less distractors. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Now let's use more for more. We need more. For countable and uncountable. Mm -hmm. We need more. We need more. Mm -hmm. We need more coffee. <laughs> okay. That's we need more coffee. coffee. We need more coffee. Okay. But what else can we need that we don't have right now? Maybe we need more parks. We need more parks too. For the for the children. Uh -huh. We need more parks. We need more smile in the face of the people. Malls like this? No, a smile. Okay. We need in more smiles. Uh -huh. Libraries. Excellent. We need more libraries. Uh huh. Excellent. Yeah, that would be a good one. We need more coffee, we need more parks, we need more smiles, we need more libraries. We need more... Musician. M Musicians? Uh-huh. Very good. Super. Okay. What about enough? There are not enough? They're not enough. Enough. Que no tenemos suficiente. Enough is suficiente. No money. tenemos suficiente. There, ah, so it would be there is not enough money. There is not enough money. <laughs> okay. What else is not enough? There's not there's not enough or there are not enough. enough. There is not enough money, there is not enough mm. hospital. Mm -hmm. Hospitals. Okay, hospitals. Ah, but this is plural. We can pluralize this. There are not enough hospitals. Mm -hmm. we can count. Mm. Trees. If not, if we had more trees, floods wouldn't happen. Like all these things that are happening wouldn't happen if we had more trees, more vegetation. For example, there are not enough hospitals, trees, smiles, libraries, musicians, parks, coffee. So it's the opposite of. There is not enough money. There is not enough uh, schools. There are enough uh, mm -hmm. 
Very good. Public, public university. Okay. There are not enough public universities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Public universities. Okay, super. Okay, these are just some examples. So the more you practice them, the more you get the hang of it. The best you can get out of grammar, more than an explanation in a video or more than an explanation on a grammar page is exercise, okay guys? The more you do exercises, the better you get to learn the, or know the topics, okay? So let's do an exercise together. Let's do an exercise together now. Um, let me go ahead and share this again. And so I want you to be ready to take notes. So we're gonna practice right now. Many, much, a few, and a little, okay? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Okay, so. teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Ready to write down your answers? Okay, super. Ready. Don't tell me your answer. Just write it down, okay? Because right after you have you will have the question, the options, you just write the answer, and then after it it will come the answer, okay? And then we're gonna discuss it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. Let's go with question number one. Ready? Did you write yeah. down your answer? Okay, super. <clears throat> how many apples? Do you have it correct? How many? Yeah, yeah correct. How many? how many apples? Right. Super, because apples, you can count them, right? You can count apples. So yeah. how many, okay? Now, if I was to answer either or, you could say a lot of, if you have, Let's say an apple tree in your backyard, but you don't, you, you can count apples, but there's a point where many are many. So you cannot really count them. So you just say, I have many apples. Okay. You don't have to say, I have 50 apples. You just say many apples and it's, since I understand, it's over known. Okay. Apples are there on Next the one. table. Question number two. Money, 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 money. <laughs> I want to buy a, a little. A little. Uh -huh. Do you have it correct? No, it's no. I want to buy a new sports car, but I only have a little money. It's not saying a little like this. It's just saying, you know, in a in a intangible way that you don't have a lot of money. You have a little money. Okay, what was my other option? A few, a, a few, few money. Few will never go with money, okay? A little will go because it's uncountable. Few, I have a, a few apples here with me or a few ice cubes inside my glass, for example, if I was to talk about, so I can actually count them. But a little, it's for a, a uncountable nouns, okay? So now we know. But don't worry, it's just an exercise to practice. Next one. I have a little money. Question number three. There are many people. There are many people. Very good. Many people because you can count. One person, another person, you can count them, okay? Mm -hmm. Much okay. is for uncountable. And... You can also say a lot of people, okay? There are a lot of people, it's the same as many, okay? A lot of people, a lot of money. So a lot is a word that you can use with countable and uncountable too, okay? How many times? How much time? How much time? How much time? How much time? How many times? How many times? How many times? <laughs> how many times? Okay. okay, how many times? Ah, I heard it. Your phone. 
How many times does your phone ring before you answer it? Two? Three, One, two, four. three, or four. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it talks about the times that it ring, ring, ring. So that's what it's talking about. Okay. So that's why you can count them. Mm -hmm. The times that your phone rings every time somebody calls you. Mm -hmm. Phone ring before you answer it. Our next one. Let's go with question five. Easy, piece of cake. What's the answer? I have many. I have money. I have many friends who live in other countries. Excellent. Many. One in France, one in Brazil, so you can count them. Okay? I have many friends who live in other countries. Question number six. Let's go with question six. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Much. How much? much. How much how sugar much. did you buy at the how supermarket? Okay. I'm asking on countable. How can I turn on countable to countable in an answer? I bought. ¿Cómo puedo hacer esa pregunta? Uncountable? Ah, uh, countable. How can I make it from uncountable to countable? Con countable, how many pounds of sugar did you buy at the supermarket? Excellent. How many pounds of sugar did you buy at the supermarket? And so, and if I was to answer this, how much sugar did you buy at the supermarket? I can answer what you just said. Uh, I bought five pounds of sugar and I'm making it countable because I can count pound by pound, libra por libra, right? So I can turn an uncountable question into a countable answer, okay? Because I'm adding the container of the sugar. Our next question. How much sugar did you buy at the supermarket? Question number seven. Do you usually much. drink very much coffee in the huh? Do you usually drink much coffee in the morning? Answer in a countable way, please. Answer to me. Do you usually drink very much cup of coffee in the morning? Coffee. Money cup of coffee in the morning? What's the answer? No, but I want the answer for this question in count. Ah, the answer, the answer, the answer. Okay. Give me the answer. How many cups of coffee do you drink in the morning? That's count that's countable. But I want you to answer this question in countable. Answer. I usually, drink, I usually drink mm, two cups of coffee in the morning. Excellent. I usually drink two cups. So I'm counting two cups. Okay. Or if I want to answer it uncountable, I could say I drink a lot of coffee in the morning. So I'm not telling you the amount. I'm not saying how how many cups, I'm just saying a lot of coffee. A cafetera antena, maybe. I'm saying a lot. Or I usually do not drink a lot of coffee in the morning. So if I don't use a container, um, that's when it stays uncountable. If I use a container, it becomes countable. In the morning. Let's go with our next question. One. Number eight. Question eight. No. Tan, tan, tan. Much. 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 Tan, tan, tan. Much. Let's find out. Excellent. Very good, guys. Yay. Very good because food is general. It's a lot. So you can count the spaghettis and you can count uh, the rice in its container boxes of bags of rice, bags of spaghetti. But you, food in general, it's uncountable. It's infinitive. Very good. We had lots of free time. So I read books during this holiday. Super. A few books. Yeah. I a had few lots books. of free time, so I read a few books during the holiday. Very good. Uh -huh. Or how many books did you read 
during the holidays. Oh, I read a few books or I read three books. Okay, it's the same. One is countable, the other is uncountable. How many times? Money? Money. Uh -huh. With time, you cannot count time. You can count the hours. Five hours for a test. Okay, e, that's insane. Mm -hmm. But time is infinity. infinity. So much for time is much. Okay. I moved to the city last week. I still do not have friends. Many, 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 excellent. Many friends. Many friends. Very good. I moved to the city last week, so I still don't have many friends. Very good, very good. Question number 12. I see. I see. I see. A little. A little. It's, it's going back to... I'm going to stop yeah mm. i think it's this one so see you have bread itself you cannot measure you can measure a loaf of bread for example a or a slice of bread right this you can measure but bread itself no mm. uh -huh, you can because you can count the pieces of bread. How many slices does a bag of bread bring? Mm, maybe you would say 20, okay? How many loaf of bread do you get for $1? 17, right? How much, how many loaves of bread do you get for $1? In your house? In your uh, house 24. <gasps> 24 for $1? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> God, you just made me feel bad. <laughs> so the baker, offer. it is, the baker here gives me 17 or 14 pieces for $1. Wow. I'm going to count them. <laughs> Those are, so this, that pan francés, it's called loaf of bread. Those are loaves, yeah. the presentation. How many slices does a package of bimbo or lido bring? Do you know? Uh, like 20, 20 I think okay 20. like 20 or, huh? okay so it's an approximate okay so see you can count but the bread itself you cannot count it unless you make the portions of it okay or make unless you make the slices of it mm -hmm. so that's a difference okay okay going back to our little quiz exercise sorry it's not a quiz it's just an exercise okay next there is a little bread on the table next to the jam. So it's a bread, not the slices of bread, not the loaves of bread, but it's just talking about bread in general. So that's why you say a little because it's uncountable. Bread on the table next to the jam. Question number 13. Are you hungry? There are cookies. Can you count the cookies? A few. Yeah. A, few. A, few. A, few. a few cookies in the what's a cupboard? ¿Qué es un cupboard? What is it? What is a cupboard? Como tarro, creo que es. Tarro de galletas o frasco de galletas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you hungry? Very good. There are a few cookies in the cupboard. Where do you keep the cookies in your house, guys? You don't keep them in the cupboard. You keep them in your bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Right? Only for me. Only for you. <laughs> Shame on you. Okay. So, yeah, and that good. happens, right? There are, cup, there are a few copies. Uh, I'm sorry, cookies, because you can actually count them. One, two, three, and so on. There are okay? a few cookies in the cupboard. Super, super. Next one. Question number 14. 
Aha, uh -huh, sand. Can we count sand? I had a great time at the beach. Now I have okay. many much, sand or much sand? sand? Much. 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 Super. Uh -huh. Super. You cannot count sand. I had a great time at the beach, but now I have much sand in my shoes. What? Now my question is, what would be a good container for sand? What would be the perfect type of container for sand? Usually rice comes in bags, milk comes in cartons or, or, or gallons or liters. What about sand? Where can we place sand to be able to make it a countable noun? Where? What type of container? A town, a sand. Okay. For construction. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh -huh. A ton of sand. A bucket of sand. Yeah. Right? Buckets. Uh huh. A bucket of sand, a ton of sand. Very good. So it can actually come in containers. Question number fifteen. Did you find out very many information about the college, or much information about the college? Much. 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 Much information. Much information about the college. Okay. Very Did good. Did you find out very much information about the mm -hmm. college? Much information. Question number 16. There are kids playing out in the garden, Not outside in the garden. Kids. Many. They yes, are more. Uh -huh. Now, if I was to ask you, how many kids play outside in your garden or in your front street? In your street, how many kids play outside? Like mm, about. <laughs> okay, so you say many kids play outside, approximately that's like 13. Many, many kids yeah. play outside? That's good, that's yeah, good, many, okay? Yeah. Okay. Or a few kids play outside? Any kids. A few or many? Okay, so A lot of kids. I can play. use a both. Lot of, you could use both. A lot of kids, many kids, or the number. 13 kids play actually outside my house. Okay. So either or. There are many kids playing outside in the garden. Question number 17. How many pets do you have? Many or a few or a little? A few. A few. few. You have. Super. A few. You can count. The, okay. Firulais and... Menino and you know and you start naming them right you can actually count your Paquito what was the name of the parrot somebody told me about a parrot A parakeet many or a few Question number 18 I think we still have Time to study before the exam a little time a few time mm -hmm. A little few, it's countable. A little, okay. A little. A little. For okay, time. okay, okay, okay. You have a little time to study before the exam. Super. Well, I hope you enjoyed this exercise. Then again, this is a very good method too. The more exercises you do, the better you get. So, right now, what I want you to do is, now that we did expressions of quantity, I want you to, I'm going to pair you up really quick. So you can do the knowledge check on exercise 2.5. So I want you to do this exercise, all of you together, okay? I'm going to make groups right now so you can practice. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Please, 2.5 exercise, okay? See you in the break rooms. Share your screens.
do you think? There aren't enough police officers in my city? Right. There um, aren't enough police officers in my city. Yeah, number two. Number two, okay. okay. And let's see the number, uh, the question number, question number two. two. There is too there much is traffic, traffic, so the government needs to build more highways, fewer highways, enough yeah. highways. I think it's number more one. Highways. Number one. I think too. More highways. And number. Let's see the number three, which is correct. There are too there much pollution in my city. There, there is, is too, too little too pollution. Little, or is too much pollution. There is I think too number much. Three. Number three. Uh, number three. three. There is too much pollution in my city. Number four. Number Complete the statement. Can sleep at night. I can sleep. I can sleep at night. There should be less noisy. Less noisy. More noisy. Too much noisy. Less I think it's number number one. Less noisy. Okay. And then number five. Complete the following statement using quantity expressions. Too, Too many, many fewer. fewer. More. Make sure not to use capital letters or pairs. The government needs to build it's more. Like the number two more. Is, is like the question number two. More, more highways. More. I think more. More, uh, yeah. More highways. More highways. And it's done. Okay. Send? Yes, yeah, send. All correct. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Uh, no. I think. Okay. Next. Actually, I complete. Much nice. And less. And less nice. Uh, uh huh. B. Too much nice and less nice. Too much nice. Okay. Complete, complete the following statement using quantity expression. Too many fewer more. Make sure not to use up. Capital letters or period. The government needs to buy um more more is the question one okay oh yeah okay let's see ah uh, number number four it's a less less <laughs> nice the uh -huh. <laughs> yes. right, yeah <laughs> okay uh, same? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh. Mm. Mm. Number one, I had that. Number, the number one, qu uh, answer two. Ah, two. No. No, is mm -hmm. a teacher. Yeah. So I hello sent, teacher. I sent you a little link on the what's on the chat, so you can complete that another worksheet. Okay, for countable and uncountable. So work on that together. Okay, and one of you can share your screen, so you can do it together, both of you. Okay. So to practice, to continue practicing, I sent you the link already. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, but you don't have to finish it. At least just try to do the first ones, okay? Mm -hmm. Guys, I sent you another worksheet for you to work on it, okay? About okay. Count countable and uncountable. I sent it on the chat. If you can check. 
uh -huh. or a broadcast okay. message to everybody. Mm -hmm. Super. It's okay if you don't finish it. it. The idea is just to practice countable and uncountable nouns from my worksheets, okay? Okay. And one of you can project. Maybe one of you can share your screen so you can project the worksheet, please. Sí, a veces me sale más claro. Si es en WhatsApp o es en la plataforma o donde. Sí. Ok, ¿qué es eso? There is many apps. Sí, porque es contable. Contable, ajá. Entonces le ponemos there is a many. There are in. Let's see. Sí. So you can say many apples. You can say there is an apple depending on the picture. So you have to look at the picture. And for example, if it's mm -hmm. just one, there is an apple. Or mm -hmm. a apple. Mm -hmm. Or some apple. Or any apple, but since it's in here, it would be there is an apple. I'll show you. Let's see here. I'll show you like this. So it would be. Do you see my screen? So there is an apple because it is singular, not plural. So an apple. There aren't. There is an apple. Eggs. Here's there are and the apple where's the apple this is number one mm -hmm. there aren't any eggs or some eggs some some eggs okay and you start filling it up according to this answers a and some and any mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right there is a Eh, eh, dijo que an se usaba en plural, ¿verdad? No, es that a and an is just one. Yo. A and an means only one. The difference is, I'm going to explain. The difference is, let me share my screen so I can explain. Here is that you use a for words that begin with a consonant, consonant sound words, and an for vowel sound words. For example, here we have there is an apple, porque no puedo decir a apple. I cannot do the a in the oh, yeah, apple yeah. word a, but it's only, it means only one. But for example, there is, there is a bread, just to give an example, there is a bread. If it was countable, I could say a bread just to imply one, but it doesn't apply because bread is uncountable, okay? There is some bread, for example, okay? Um, so I use A or N for one. That's what it means, for one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Nice. Let me sheet and count and then count. And oh, did I? Do you want me to send you the link? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll send it here in the chat. I sent it already, but you can click on it again.
Okay, I got it. Super. <clears throat> okay, here we are. And now I'm gonna check. It's there okay if we just don't finish it. The idea is for you to have a little bit more practice with Countable because it's a very long worksheet, okay? Okay. And you can do it for. Let's see, uh, fill the gaps with uh, answering any and my shifts and this is the pictures. Okay, guys, help me with number one. There is. Yes, a ver cómo van a hacer. Sí, pues. <laughs> sí, está feo. Ya para febrero, tal vez se estabilice. Se estabilice. Mm, puede ser. Pero. Está difícil. So guys, remember that we have this live worksheet. It's okay if you guys don't finish it, okay? But at least if you start doing it, that would be a great exercise for you to practice, okay? Countable and uncountable, which was the link that I sent you. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, but it's fine if you don't finish it. I mean, because it's already time, just um, one more minute to go. So, um, but I did send you the link through WhatsApp in case you wanna do it for practice, okay? Okay, teacher. Super. Okay, I'm going to take you back to the main screen. Guys, as always, time flies, but I'm leaving you this worksheet just as extra <clears throat> exercise for you to practice with, okay? So do it on your free time. There's plenty of worksheets that you can work on, but the main idea is for you to clarify your doubts through exercises. That's the best practice that you, I, you guys can have, okay? So okay. I will be seeing you tomorrow, same time same place if i have a uh, homework or an activity i think i have an, a talking activity for tomorrow but if so i will let you know what the topic or what the activity is going to be about uh, through a uh, what's up but i don't think we have there's one speaking activity for this week so i'll let you know which one it is and what's the topic okay 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 super Thank you very much for joining. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow.